Hello. Today, we're going to be talking about the incidence matrix. Consider this graph. In order to talk about two objects being incident to one another, we're going to give each vertex a labeling, and additionally, we're going to give each edge a labeling. In this case, we say that the vertex V1 is incident to the edge E1. More generally, if G is a graph, and V1 is a vertex, and E1 is an edge, then we say these are incident if E1 is comprised of V1 and some other vertex. Using our new definition, we're going to want to create a matrix. Specifically, we're going to let each row of this matrix represent each vertex of our graph. And we're going to let each column of the matrix represent each edge of our graph. And our goal is to fill this matrix with ones and zeros. A one will represent that the vertex edge pair is incident. And a zero will represent that they are not incident. For example, if we look at the very first entry, we ask ourselves, is V1 incident to E1 in our graph? And since it is, then we're going to put a 1 in for this entry. Similarly, for the second entry, we ask whether V1 is incident to E2. Since they are not incident in our graph, then we put a 0 in for this entry. I hope at this point you get the idea. So I'm just going to fill out the rest of the matrix, and you can feel free to verify it on your own. Now, more precisely, we say that if G is a graph, and the vertex set is just the numbers 1 through n, and the edge set is E1 through EM, then the incidence matrix of G is the n by m matrix, where the ijth entry is 1 if vertex i is incident to the edge EJ, and 0 otherwise. So there are a couple benefits to turning your graph into a matrix. The most obvious one is that you can actually take this matrix and input it into a computer. This way, instead of any computation you are intending on doing by hand, you can instead have your computer do it. This isn't the only way to put a graph into a computer. Another way is using the adjacency matrix. If you don't know what that is, then feel free to check out my video on it. Otherwise, I thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.